Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you so much for the little, uh, you know, for the, the spiritual support. Knowing that we're all resonating in one way or another, even though we might be going through some really trying difficult times right now better days are on its way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love a chance for you to uh know me and well, i'm knowing you as much as you're getting to know me even if you was to write down you know something to give me a total uh, uh positive feedback towards the content of my video or you just let me know about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos just gave you good information or good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you have been giving me it's so greatly appreciated and knowing that we're all connecting in one way or another um and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um my meditation music I'm living to, uh, living to, <laughs> listening to right now is uh, called Wipeout Subconscious Negativity, 528 Hertz. Release unconscious bad energy, attract positive energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you might struggle today, but keep going. The strength will come back tomorrow. Yeah, it is. You know, the... Y'all, I've been on, um, like, you know, if I'm not on here, I'm usually on Facebook. And if I'm not on either one, I usually, you know, I'm not even really on Facebook like that. You know, I look for, like, a lot of positive posts. Like, my friend Brenda, she always posts things that I'm totally resonating with. If I'm not talking about it in the video or I don't wrote a content down, I mean, my homegirl, always, we're always in alignment. So, that's truly a blessing if I'm not aligning with my soul sister, Jessie, as well. So it's just like when we're going through all these things, I'm hearing so many empaths talking about, oh, God, are y'all tired? Or, oh, I've been in this dark spot for so long. Or, you know, or I'm just emotional wreck. You know, we're all going through these different difficult things. You know, if you're feeling off, if you're feeling like you're about to end, you know, our emotional trying you know cycle of your life right now because it's like you reason why everything is hitting you all at once because like i told y'all a couple of days ago mother earth is giving birth to a new world she's having us birth out a new world even men and women you know because we have been through so many trying times we've been in a dark place for so long even though you've been trying to push out positivity and you're trying to you know see a positive light during your hard times you have to keep believing it until you know like i tell people i know that light might be dim right about now or it might be faulty but there every day you have to keep looking in the mirror and telling yourself in affirmations better days are coming for me i'm healing in so many different ways in so many areas i mean yes we have gone through abuse we have gone through you know betrayal neglect all these awful things in the world but it's just like it's time for us to shine you have to keep believing that better days are coming for you you know there's so many things that we relate to that you know you can be that support system and that's why i love doing my videos it's like a community where you're not judged you know what whatever you share on here you're not being judged about long as it's not you know having sexual relations with children or beating up on old people i'm good and i tell people that all the time if you want to do one of them two things don't come up and tell me because i know i ain't trying to judge but i'll try to say something especially about them people to be abusing children but it's just like we all have gone through that dark road all of us has made mistakes you should not be you know still hurting yourself over things that happened years ago you know if you have people in your life that keeps bringing up your past years ago knowing that you're trying to you know heal in those positive ways trying to let them know that you're no longer that person anymore you know those are the people you need to cut ties with because it's like right now universe has you cutting relationships and toxic vibes 
from each and everybody. I mean, I don't sit up here, even on my, my, my social media, people I've been with for years, people I knew for years, like I consider family. If I see you, and I, you know, it's like the 80-20 thing. If I see I'm doing 80% for you, you know, being there, being a support system like that, I'm not doing it because I want something in return. But I feel like if I support you, you should be able to support me. But I have to also realize not everybody going to have the same heart as me. But if I feel like you're mooching off of me, you're sucking my energy dry, boo-boo, I'm about to cut you cut you off like like a cord i'm not about to do that you know i deserve to be happy i deserve to be respected i have boundaries like i tell people i have boundaries it's not about me being that itchy person or whatever but if i tell you you know hey i can chat with you all these times you know i don't mind being a spiritual guidance for you i don't mind being able to help you see things where it can see confusing because if i've been through this for a while so I don't know everything, but it is a blessing to be able to go to somebody and say, you know what, Rosalind, I'm going through this and I'm really trying to find my way out. Or, you know, I'm just trying to see if there are signs that I'm missing. I try to, you know, if I'm, you know, I'm going through my own stuff, sometimes I'll put mine aside. But then there's sometimes I say, you know what, I can help you a minute, but you know, what, I can't dig deep all into this. You know, right now, because I'm, I'm trying to work on me. You know, I don't like, you know, because lately I've been cutting everybody's, you know, energy off. Sometimes, you know, I got soul brothers like, oh, Rosalind, you felt this? No, the heck I didn't. I'm not feeling nobody's stuff. I try not to, especially if I'm working on me, trying to elevate myself. You know, if nobody don't take care of me, I got to be able to take care of me because I had too much stuff going on. And being able to elevate and evolve, there is so much I'm being so sensitive with. So I had to, like, break that. I had to protect myself in that, my personal bubble. So you need to do the same thing for yourself. But, yeah, we might struggle each and every day, but you know your struggle is not in vain. You know, you have to be able to pay attention to the signs and knowing there, that big shift has happened. Yeah, you might be going through some stuff right now, but pay attention to everything that's going on around you. You know, you got so many different things that, you know, you can be grateful for. I, I wish the heavens the Lord, you know, there's a lot of things that's going on in my life, but I'm so grateful. You know, I got a car. I got food on my table. I got a roof over my bed. I got a bed I can lay in. I got clothes on my back. I got water I can wash with and cook with. I'm good. You know, I might not have everything that's glorious in life, but you know what? I, I'm blessed. You know, just like yesterday, God blessed me in a, a, a big way to where I was able to pamper myself. I usually don't have that time to pamper myself. I don't have the finance to do that. But God blessed me yesterday. Be able to do, you know, me and my daughter went to go get our nails done. I fixed my hair. And I even found me another outlet, you know, making the videos. And I'm also... <laughs> got my finally got my guitar following behind my dad's footsteps being able to try to teach myself how to do guitar I won't I don't know I can't be as best as him because that's a guitar genius but you know being able to teach myself because that's how my dad got through a lot of his issues is through his music so I'm trying to teach myself how to play guitar you know that can be one of my outlets another one of my outlets as well as just singing and doing videos you know making out for this so it's a lot of different things and I was I mean I cried tears of joy yesterday because God didn't have to bless me with that but he did and you know I'm being able to do that I said thank you you know even though I might have been not been much but when you start showing gratitude to the universe about the little things that comes in your life they feel like okay she's earned this or he's earned this they you know they're showing blessings to us it's showing gratitude you know they're paying attention you know you've gone through so much hell you should be able to enjoy yourself enjoy the fruit of your labor you know, you're doing things you need to do to better yourself and better your surroundings, your community, whatever you're doing. You're pushing that. And I know sometimes you feel like, God, am I going to ever get a break? Or am I going to ever come out this dark space? Yes, you are, because it's not intended for you to go through this for so long. But if you're so wrapped up in the stuff that you're going through and not actually seeing how the thing, how things are shifting for you, you know, it could be people that are putting you in this daggone situation. If you pay attention to what's going on around you, you will see they're catching whatever they put out towards you. Trust me, I'm seeing it all over the place. I'm even having folks call me and say, hey, you know, such and such, remember they did this to you? Oh, well, check this out. But I'm like, ooh, I don't even laugh, though. If you see something happening to folks that did you dirty, it wasn't there for you to poke fun at. Just looking, just like, ooh, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to see that. Okay. <laughs> you know that you're starting to get your little blessings because you ever seen them post that say, you know, there's people that did you wrong, but trust and believe if you really truly bless God will let you see them get their karma paid back. They'll, sometimes he'll let you watch. It ain't for you to poke fun, fun and laugh at because when you start poking fun and laughing at folks, that's what you'll tend because that's the same thing they did to you. 
So you just look and you observe like, oh, thank you for allowing me to see that and keep it moving. Keep progressing on you. Keep learning how to elevate yourself. Evolve in so many ways it's going to scare you to have that. And you, when you're changing and you're elevating yourself in such a good state of mind and just a pure energy, negativity, negative folks, you know, pessimistic folks going don't is not going to even know how to approach you. So you keep doing what you need to do, knowing your struggle is not in vain. You're gonna keep, you're gonna, you're gonna end up seeing the fruit of your labor, the big fruits. Because once you show that your gratitude, it, your gratefulness, even if it was like about a good five dollars, that's five dollars more than what you had. When you're grateful for things like that, and the universe say, okay, they're not taking for granted about it, because you know they can't bless you with the big stuff, because you're missing out on the lesson they need you to get towards that big stuff. So they need to be able to put a little bit here and a little bit there, and they want to see how you're gonna, you know, grow. They're like, oh wow, I got that. It could have been better. I've done that before, because I was in one of those funky moves, and I'm like, well, shoot, I guess she wasn't, you know, th that wasn't good enough for her. So wait a minute before you give her something else. So I, I had to clean up my act. I had to clean up my attitude because God and universe don't really gotta give you nothing. <laughs> they really don't. But they know you're working hard towards the things that you really truly want to do in life. Whatever you're working hard towards and you're not giving it up, you might be catching hell right now. But you never know what's gonna be around that corner for you. You might get your blessing later on this week. You might get your blessing next month. Or even six months from now. But while you are waiting, don't sit there on the lump on the log and trying to hope that things are going to change for you. You keep putting in your work. You keep doing the things that you need to do. Because that strength is going to come through all those little setbacks that you have had. And you have to be grateful for them little setbacks that you had to occur in your life to push you into a better, you know, in a pet better you know season because you're making yourself a better season this is ripening for you this is empath ripening time we're about to blossom we're about to glow up you have to keep you have to keep telling yourself that every affirmation when you get up in the morning i am going to get through this whatever i'm suffering from it's going to be no longer you have to be able to psych yourself out because many times you keep on saying it and saying it and saying it you will start believing it and the more you start believing in the universe and just trust on them you have sometimes, you know, it's hard for us to do trust on things we can't see. That's what faith kicks in for, because when you start asking God to give you patience, patience, it will put you in situations for you to have no choice but to wait. When you want to ask trust in the universe, they will put certain situations in your life where you have nothing, no choice but to trust them. Having faith you, when you want those, you have to. There's things that's gonna happen in your life that you only know that universe, God, source, and holy creator is the one who did those things for you so be grateful for those things give praises to them on the little stuff that they put in your life because when you start doing that they'll start blessing you with bigger stuff but knowing this is only temporary you know right now we're all going through emotional and uh karma clearing because like i said this is the generation that's going to stop those generational uh the generational curses and the karmatic cycles so a karmic cycle so all those things you won't catch hell right now because the things are ending with you so keep on remembering you're going to be that one that's going to break that cycle so you keep doing you being you and elevate yourself whatever is coming towards you is not serving you cut it off <laughs> i don't care how bad you want to keep these people around it's not going to be good for you keeping around when they're those are the one could be the main thing that's blocking you from your blessings in the first place so you got to cut those folks out whatever you're doing this is harming you and not serving you in a good way cut it off <laughs> where it, i had to tell myself especially with the negative thinking so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video i'm gonna give a big up to um let me see let me see tanya thomas what's up sis i hope all is going well Aaron um, McCollin, I, I think, yeah, McCollum, and uh, Happy Lux from Luxembourg. Much love to you. I hope I'm going to talk to you in a few, and I'll see you later. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.